Recently, Google added the ability to create a mail merge in Gmail. That mail merge pulls data from Google Sheets, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. So I have the source addresses up on the screen, and I have Gmail in another window. Before we dive into it, there's a couple things to keep in mind. One is that this can only be done from a business account. So if you have a personal Google account, uh, let me close this window. I'll start, uh, click the compose button again. First comes up like this. You'll be missing this button that says use mail merge. I have a paid account here, so I can click on that. Fill the checkbox in, say add from spreadsheet, and it will bring you to this next window. So you have to be able to get there. And then it also limits you to 1500 addresses per day. So just keep that in mind. In the background here, we're going to switch over well, we'll leave this mail merge where it is right now. We're gonna switch over and talk about the sheet that I'm going to use as the source. So you want to already have it created when you start the mail merge. And you wanna have nice columns that describe the data well. All right, so I have first name, last name, and email. And this mail merge can take four fields. It takes first name, last name, email, and it can also use a full name. So we'll create that field. We'll say concatenate. And I can link to more information if you want to know about this function. And basically, it just joins text strings together. So the first string is the first name. Now we'll do last name. Now we'll do first name. And then we'll just do a space. So that's a quote, uh, a space character, and another quote. So that's just an empty space that I'm putting in between them. And then the third string will be what's in uh, the cell B2. And you get the little preview in the blue text here. So that's right. That's the first name and the last name. We're done with that function. And I want to drag that down to all of the rows. So I'll double click in the lower right hand corner. And now my sheet's ready for a mail merge. So we will go back to Gmail. And it is right here because it's a recent document. It's on recent. If you couldn't see it, you could search for it but we'll just click on contacts and it wants to know where things are. So email, yeah, it's in the column labeled email. That's pretty easy. First name, last name. That's all it needs right now because it's just putting the email addresses together to put them in the to field. You can't do a CC or a BCC with this functionality. So they're all going to go into the to field of your email. Click finish. And in the two field now, you're just seeing the link to the spreadsheet where they're all listed. So it doesn't get uh, kind of sloppy looking and, and list them all out. In the subject, just touching base. And when we type the email, we're going to use a couple special abilities specific to a mail merge in the body here. So let's say hi. And now we'll grab the full name. So that's in the spreadsheet. That's a formula we use with concatenate full name period. I wanted to see how you're doing today. We don't need to bring anything else in here, but if you did just hit the at symbol and this will show you all of the tags that are available. All right. Now we've come down you're not quite ready yet. Click continue. And then it just gives you a warning to remind you not to send junk email if they don't want it. You click got it. Then it's also saying, hey, you're sending an email to people outside of your company. Are you sure you want to do that? And at this point, you just click send all. Now, these are fake email addresses, but I still really don't want to send it because I don't know the people. Uh, but that's how you would do a mail merge between Gmail and Google Sheets with no add-ons. So in this next video, I'd like to show you a new plugin that we developed called Stay Sorted. And what it does, let's just go over to this contact list. Let's say these were sorted by last name, but you were adding new entries to the bottom. Well, typically in Google Sheets, those stay at the bottom until you resort the list. But if you're running Stay Sorted, which is this add-on right here, it will take every new entry as you add it and sort it to where you want it. I hope you check out that next video. Thanks for watching.